Hello. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to create custom attributes for products within KonaCart. KonaCart allows you to create an unlimited number of custom attributes for any product. It also allows you to group these custom attributes into a template so that the template can easily be reused between products of similar types. I'm going to show now how to create uh, three custom attributes for a laser printer. So I click the new button and I want to create a custom attribute for uh, pages per minute, let's say, ppm. Now in this case I can set a few different variables. One is the type of widget which the admin person will actually use to set the value when the product has been defined. Then I can set the validation for this. So uh, here I can put in any type of regular expression for the validation. I can set the type of attribute and this can be seen in the storefront application to actually display it because it will have a type and also a template that can be used uh, by the storefront application. Finally, there's also a message key that the storefront application can be used so that we can show multilingual messages for the attributes. So let's go back to the attribute of pages per minute. In this case, I actually want to make it a drop list and I want to offer three options. So the options will be fast, medium and slow. So let me get these, paste them. So under 15 pages per minute, it will return slow. 15 to 20 pages per minute, it will return medium. And 20 to 30 pages per minute, it will return the string fast. Now, I've defined this attribute. Let me save it. OK. I want to define a new attribute. In this case, I want to say whether, define whether the printer is color or black and white. Here, I can use a, a radio button. So let me make this of a Boolean type and I'll make it a, to define a radio button. I say there's a choice and it can either be color, yes or no. Let me save this. The third one I want to define is whether the laser printer is wireless or not. Again, I want to make it a radio button, yes or no and I want to make the type boolean. So I've now defined my attributes. The next thing to do is to group them into a template. So I click on custom attribute template. I create a new template and I want to name this template as a laser printer template. Once I've defined my template, I want to associate the attributes to the template. These are the attributes. I pick them all, then I save. Now my template has been defined and I've associated the attributes with the template. The final thing I need to do is to associate the template with a product. So I go to my product screen and I pick the Hewlett Packard laser printer. I edit this. In the Details tab, I can actually select a template. I select the laser, temp uh, laser printer template. Now that I selected the template, I can go to the Custom Field tab. And under the Template Attributes, I see the attributes that I've just defined. I can change the values for these. and then I can save them. Now these attributes become part of the product and in the storefront application whenever the product is retrieved through the APIs these attributes will be available. Within KonaCart there are also the standard custom attributes which are actual attributes of the product table. We supply a number of these and these can be used to also search for the product and to do sorting for the product. So these provide a very kind of fast performance, whereas the template attributes are unlimited in number and these can provide a very 
nice user interface including validation and on the storefront side they've also got metadata such as templates type of products so that the storefront can dynamically decide how to display them so that's it for templates I hope you found uh, this video useful thank you bye bye